Hey guys, welcome back to Biscuits Total War. This is Biscuits giving you another online commentary for Rome Total War. Now in today's episode, I'm going to invite you in to view one of my nightmares. Now, I've been working all week, going backwards and forwards. I don't always get time to go on to Rome Total War. So when I do go on to Rome Total War, I like to play one or two games just to basically relax, chill out and have a good time. But I went on the other night and there was nobody online apart from one battle. What battle was that? Well, it's a battle that I'd normally never ever join, but because I had no other options, I had to join it. So what is that battle, you hear me ask? Well, I hear you ask even. It is a free for all, but this free for all is a max money free for all, and plus there's no rules, plus we've got people using Scythia, we've got people using the uh, Seleucids, we've got people using Carthage, and if you know what that equals when it comes to no rules, it equals spam. What does spam mean? It means an absolutely noob-tastic build. But on the flip side, because it is a noob-tastic build, you're going to see action that you've never seen before on my channel. And that's because I normally don't take part in these types of games. So, I'm really hoping that you're going to enjoy this. I know it's going to be a bit interesting. I've decided to bring the Greeks, as you can see. And what I wanted to try and do is bring kind of a balanced build. I knew there was no rules, but I wanted to try and set myself a little mission. I wanted to set myself a couple of little uh, benchmarks. So I've gone for the Greeks, and I have brought six Spartans, six Armoured Hoplites, four Crescent and Archers, and four Jav Cav. Now, that's a fairly well-rounded build, I reckon. It's not too bad, considering it was max money. I could have just spammed a bunch of Spartans, but no. I decided not to do that. I decided to try and stick by my own rules. Now, the next thing, this is our last man standing. What does that mean? Well, it means that whoever's the last man standing wins. So you could corner camp and you could easily win this. But what I thought, no, what I want to try and do is get the most amount of kills. Even if I don't win, even if I'm not the last man standing, I want to make sure I get the most amount of kills. Because what I'm going to be going up against is going to be something that's textbook out of the noob bible of just random stupid builds to bring but it is really exciting it's really fun and you guys will absolutely love this so what's going to happen let's go and have a look at the Scythians now they have decided in their absolute genius to bring 20 units of horse archers two horse archers is bad three horse archers depending on the ass trying to chase down but 20 horse archers well that is just freaking irritating but who there's no rules, so who am I to complain? Now, we've gone at the uh, the horse archers. The next thing, we have got not one elephant, not two elephants, but freaking 20 maxed out elephants. And they're Carthaginian armoured elephants. Now, to be honest, I could see this one coming from a million miles, but I thought, fuck it. Let's do this for shits and giggles. Let's have a bit of fun. So we've seen a horse archer span army. We've seen an elephant spam army. What other spam armies could people possibly field? Well, let's go and have a look at the Scythians. Have a guess, not Scythians, the Seleucids. Have a guess what the uh, Seleucids would normally bring. They would normally bring 20 maxed out cataphracts. That's right. Not one, not two, but 20 maxed out cataphracts. So we've got 20 maxed out horse archers, 20 maxed out cataphracts, 20 maxed out elephants. The only thing that's left as the other two players. Now, in their fairness, they haven't actually uh, spammed any stupid armies, but what they have actually done is decided they're going to work together. So, I don't know what's worse. A bit of cheating, a bit of spamming. Who cares? This is Rome Total War, and it's all about having fun. So, let's kick off the battle and see exactly how this all initiates. Well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move my units up to this little high ground here to try and take... Uh, high ground for my archers and my pikes but the uh, Seleucids are having none of that they see my army and they just want to fucking crush me they want to drive me into the ground and squash me underneath these maxed out califracts but I have got a couple of pike units and I've got a couple of Cretans and I've got a couple of light jab cav so what can I do to try and nullify this well first thing I need to do is pull my archers to the side which I'm doing right now then I need to get my pikes down, which I'm going to do in a second. You'll see it literally in about two seconds. I charge my pikes in, drop down the pikes by pressing backspace and pressing F. 
and you'll see the planks are going down the planks are going down my units are still being killed but the cataphracts are being absolutely impaled now if you've been watching my other videos you'll know that there's one thing that cataphracts don't like and that's being encircled and they don't like being shot by flame attack and that's exactly what i'm going to prescribe to them so here we go creasing archers they're going to shoot them right in the flank here with some flame attack anytime now as we see here we go a few flaming arrows go in the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to get my jab cav now my jab cav is light cav it's pretty rubbish i'm now going to charge my guys right into this flank and encircle these units and boom there you go 20 lots of maxed out cataphracts instantaneously routing all because of some jab cav and some cretan archers it's absolute carnage absolute bedlam these cataphracts have been absolutely skewered mowed down yes i have lost probably about one third of my infantry but i have managed to wipe out 20 maxed out cataphracts and to make sure that these buggers don't come back my jab cav are going to chase these guys all the way back to seleucia all the way back to the middle east and make sure they don't come back ever again so here we go these poor cataphracts they're running away they're trying to get away but they can't because they're heavy they're fat they're tired and my brave little jab cav guys armed with a knife and a fork are going to absolutely butcher those guys so there we go cataphracts are wiped out i'm pretty happy with that one army down this was a six player free for all it's now been turned into a five player free for all well i should really say four player free for all because the germanians and the midians are working together really blatantly obviously and in the meantime you'll see this one uh, greek unit here it's just going to be uh, freaking out look one two three Whee! he's flying around that's the problem when you get smacked by cav often it kind of glitches your units and this guy is just going to fly around uses levitating skills um i've got no idea how you actually physically do that uh, if I could do this, I'd do it to all of my units and just magically make them levitate. But unfortunately, I don't know how to do that one quite yet. But what I do know, I can try and fix it by getting one of my units, running them back over to pick up this unit, and they should stop levitating or they should stop flying around. In the meantime, let's look at the carnage of these Seleucid units. So you can see the nice trail of all of these cataphracts. Now bear in mind that these guys are maxed out. These guys are probably worth about 3 or 4k. And my little Jav Cav units are probably worth a tuppence compared to them. So you can see a nice trail of these bodies leading all the way down to the couple of cataphracts which have managed to escape from the battlefield. So, as that one army is down, what I need to try and do is get my guys, I'd say probably around to this high ground here, and get my Crescent Archers into range of these guys here. Because what I want to try and do is use a flame attack on my crescent archers to lower the morale on these armoured hoplites, causing them to rout and therefore I might be able to kill a few of them. Because going back to the original task guys, I'm all about the kills. I want to make sure I can kill as many of these Carthaginians as possible, as many of the Midians, as many of the Germans, as many of the Seleucids and as many of these Scythians. It doesn't matter if I'm not the last man standing, I just want to make sure I get the most amount of kills. Anyway, let's just double speed this for two seconds. Now, it looks like the elephants are running through here. So the uh, Scythians are going to get out of there now. And they're going to charge their guys straight into these units over here. Now, it's going to be an absolute carnage fest at this stage. Because if you picture these horse archers, they've almost basically got a gasoline gun on top of these uh, <laughs> cab units. They're just going to mow down all of these units because the um, Numidians... Are primarily a skirmish build and the uh, the germans are more of a, a shock and or a kind of attack so their armor is going to be really really low and these guys are just going to mow them to bits and you'll see all of these arrows in a second are going to be just gunning down all of these guys and they're going to be dropping like flies any time now in the meantime i'm trying to move my units in a bit closer i'm trying to kill a few of these uh, elephant units want to kill as many as possible but what's going to happen now the Carthaginian, you can see that i'm trying to shoot his guys he can see that the horse archers now engaged he's going to charge in all of his elephants now to try and help out these horse archers and try and take out as many of these units here but you can see already a load of these germans have already been mowed down by all of these overpowered over the top 
horse archers. You can see they're just gunning down all of these units. It's basically like the Battle of the Somme. The Germans are mowing down the British at the moment. Um, and these Numidians really haven't got much to do apart from just stand there and take it. So you can see all of these elephants now charging in. All of these horse archers are gunning down these units. The Germans are trying to heroically push back a few of these units. But as you can see they're taking arrow shots from all over the place. And within a few moments I'm pretty sure this general is going to be absolutely impaled to death by these archers. Um, I'm amazed that he's... Oh, there we go. General is dead already. The Germans have lost their general. These berserkers are now uh, being turned on. So these guys are going to basically go on a berserk mission to try and take out these elephants. But it's not going to last because within about 10 or 15 seconds, these elephants are already mass routing these berserkers, as you can see. So I've seen this going on. I can see that the Germans are being taken out. It looks like the Numidians are going to be taken out pretty quickly. So I need to get in the action. I don't need to hang on to that hill. I need to bring in my crease archers and bring them into range as soon as humanly possible. So these guys, they're running down the hills as you can see. Uh, they're going to get into range anytime now around probably about this benchmark here. Once I'm around this range, what I can now do is loose fire, get all of my archers to flame attack and just pelt these elephants to death. Try and kill as many of these overpowered, uh, nubified elephants. Again, um, one part of me hates killing these kind of builds but the other part loves it because at the end of the day I rarely get to see these I rarely get to play uh, this type of battle so it's a lot of fun for myself so I'm going to be gunning down these elephants now these elephants can see exactly what I'm doing now they're thinking shit these units are going to instantaneously rout if I don't take out these archers so they're going to charge everything that they've got every single elephant all 20 maxed out elephants into my Greeks but I'm going to say sod that I'm going to pull in my pikes I'm going to get my guys into range and now you're going to see absolute carnage you're going to see the remains of my Spartans try and take out all of these 20 maxed out elephants and it's going to be bedlam it's going to be carnage these pike units are doing their very best I'm pressing backspace I'm pressing F I'm trying to get my pikes down I'm trying to kill as many of these guys as possible Whilst this is going on, I'm just trying to engulf these guys in flames. I'm trying to use all of these crescent archers to the side just to try and mass rout them. And that's exactly what's going on here. They're turning red. They're losing control. Now, I have lost a lot of pikes here, as you can see. A few of my guys are getting out there, and I don't blame them. At the end of the day, if I was going up against these elephants, I'd get the fuck out of there. I would not be hanging around. Anyway... My guys are shooting these guys to bits. We're trying to gun them down as much as we possibly can. I'm frantically pressing back space. I'm frantically trying to kill these elephants. These elephants are now down to one unit. I've managed to rout every single one of these elephants bar one. And it looks like any time now that last unit, which is this one here, should rout. So let's have a look. Can I just try and get that one? Yes, there we go. Boom. All elephants are now routed. Uh, the player has now been taken out. There's nothing much you can do apart from watch his elephants run amok. Now, so let's just have a quick little recap. I've taken out these Seleucids. I've taken out the Carthaginians. The only thing that's left is the, the remaining units of these Germans and the remaining units of these Numidians. Now, one thing, I'm not really scared about these Numidians. I'm not scared about these um, Germans. The only thing I am scared about is these 20 maxed out horse archers because these guys are going to be absolutely hell to kill. There's no way that I can chase these units around the battlefield. So I'm just going to wait for this battle to finish and you'll see exactly what's going to go on here. You'll see that the uh, Numidians are trying to take out this German, this uh, Scythian general. Um, they've managed to take out a couple of units but we have got the vast majority of these horse archers here. And they're just going to gun down all of these archers here that the Minions and the, the Germans have got. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to triple speed this for a few moments. Because at the end of the day, it's not that exciting. You're just going to watch a bunch of horse archers gun down a bunch of the Minions. And Germans are now being taken out. These Numidians have been taken out. There's one unit there. The only thing that's left of these Numidians is some light infantry, light cav there. And I believe they have got one infantry unit, which is all the way at the back of the battlefield. They're hiding away. So there we go. It is now just myself versus all of these horse archers. 
and then the minion player who has got one unit which is all the way over here for some reason which I don't quite understand but he's hanging out here I need to try and get my guys back now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to run all of my infantry all of my Cretan archers to these wooden units to the uh, the woods here why is that for two particular reasons it's going to give me cover against all of these horse archers and secondly it's also going to give me shelter from the horse archers and thirdly I should really say thirdly for three reasons I'm going to have the range on him by having this higher ground I should be able to shoot him before he can shoot me now if you have a little glance over here if you cast your memory back I had that one Spartan unit that is just glitching out and you can see he's just trying to run away he won't actually leave the battlefield but what he's actually doing he's just sitting there glitching out by the, the edge of the battlefield if you put my cursor over him uh, for two seconds you'll see that he's actually uh, he was actually frightened by elephants and you can see there's no elephants around him the reason why he's frightened by elephants is that this is the rest of his unit and this unit was near some elephants earlier on anyway that's not really interesting let's get back to the battlefield so you can see these horse archers now slowly making their way up to where my units are and again I'm just going to wait for these horse archers to come towards me I don't want to uh, engage them I want to make sure I've got that high ground I want to make sure that my guys are covered by those small little woods over there so let's just watch these horse archers come closer and closer and closer so I'm pretty happy so far at the moment although I may not be the person who's the last man standing I have managed to kill a shitload of elephants and a shitload of cataphracts the next thing is let's try and kill these horse archers so as I mentioned before my guys will have the range because my guys are on slightly higher ground so I'm able to gun down a few of these horse archers before they can shoot me but they're already starting to shoot me now because these guys have got very long range and you can see they're now shooting my guys but because my guys are hidden in these woods I will have a little bonus and so many of my units are actually hidden away in the forest so I'm not doing too bad at the moment I'm pretty happy with that even though my infantry units are really low I'm uh, more than happy just to wait there a few moments to see what we can try and do now it looks like he's going to try and test my lines maybe see where my hidden units are he's probably going to send this unit in really really close he might even decide to charge my units which could be a bit of a suicide charge but it's not a bad idea at the end of the day so he's going to charge in his cav here he can now see exactly what I've got I'm going to drop down my pikes these guys are going to rout um, and then these guys are now going to join in their fight they're going to rout um, what he's now going to do is now going to move in his cav he's going to split his guys into two groups he's got one group here and one group here what I'm going to do I'm going to get my jav cav and I'm going to try and scare off this unit here although his units are more heavily upgraded than my units my units are fresh his units are tired so I might be able to actually beat him into one to one melee fight or inflict a lot of damage so we're going to chase him down I'm going to send in my jab cav which I'm trying to do here I'm trying to push them back once I've pushed them back to a certain stage I'm now going to turn my direction and use my jab cav to try and take down these units because these units are the units that got ammunition left if we can try and take out them we're going to be doing pretty well so my jab cav are now going to turn around and aim for these units in the meantime these guys are now going to charge back up the hill and try and take out some of my units uh, my guys are still warmed up which is pretty good let's see what kind of damage we can do we've only got four units my guys are heavily depleted let's charge my guys into these um, horse archers and try and push them back so some people in the past have asked me you know biscuits how do you deal with horse archers the way you deal with horse archers is to get light cav, jav cav, that is probably gold gold or heavily upgraded because they should be able to chase down all of the, uh, the horse archers and beat them in a one-to-one -one melee fight. And that's exactly what I'm doing at the moment. Now I may not be able to win on both battles here. You can see I've routed this unit here. They have managed to route one of my units but I've routed two of theirs. I can now gang up all of my jav cav into the rest of these horse archers what I'm trying to do is just push back these Scythians here in the meantime these Scythians are now out of ammunition or they're pretty much dwindling they're now going to charge into my guys 
But my guys have got their pikes. I've got my crescent archers. We should be able to gun these guys down pretty quickly. And these guys are going to get impaled. Um, looks like I've managed to finally route the majority of all of these horse archers um, by this one unit here. I'm just going to put this onto double speed. I'm going to charge everything I've got now into this one unit. If we can do that, then we can take out the Scythians. So if we can do that, then we're going to do pretty good. Let's have a look here. There we go. And the Scythians are now being taken out. So let's have a recap so far, guys. We've taken out the Scythians. We've taken out the... Uh, Carthaginians and we have taken out the Seleucids. The only thing that is left is that small little contingency, that small little group of Numidian legionaries and we should be able to deal with them pretty quickly. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and chase them or get them to chase my Javcav. Whilst they're chasing my Javcav, I'm going to use my archers to gun down these guys, lower their morale, get their morale really low and then once they're down su suitably, I should then be able to charge them with my infantry and my bits and pieces. So let's have a little look. There we go. He made to defeat and he's taken out. So let's just recap over here. I set myself two goals. Ideally to get the most amount of kills. And if I could also be the last man standing that would be absolutely superb. And I managed to accomplish both of those tasks. So I got an 805 kills. Uh, the next highest amount of kills was from the Carthaginian at 715 kills. And that's basically because of his massive elephant contingency. The next one after that was the uh, Scythians with 682 kills. And then we've got the uh, Seleucids, we've got the Germans, and we've got the, say, the um, Midians. So let's just put our names to faces. So I was playing uh, Greeks, my name is Heaven Biscuits. Uh, the um, Midian player was Sacred Bands, who I recognise that username. Then we've got another guy called Damias, who was the German player. Ashol, or Alashol, uh, who was the Seleucid player. A guy called uh, Liligrav, I believe, Seleucid, I mean the Scythian. And then we've got Alebagand, I believe, a Carthaginian player. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. It was a bit different. I was a bit crazy. It's not the kind of builds that you'd normally see on my channel. But I really hope you guys enjoyed that. It was really entertaining to watch that. Even more entertaining to do the commentary. Hopefully you guys should also be entertained. If you like it, please show your support. Please like. Please share. Please uh, leave a comment. And if you do get a few moments, feel free to check out some other Rome Total War goodness on my channel. It's absolutely inundated with Rome Total War. And I hope to catch you guys soon for the next Rome Total War video. In the meantime, this is Biscuit signing off. Thanking you for your time and I'll catch you guys soon, okay? Bye now.